President Emerson Nangogwa was accused of breaking the law and destroying independent institutions in order to hold on to power by the leader of Zimbabwe's main opposition. Nelson Chamisa also cautioned that any indication of election-related interference by Nangogwa's party could result in total disaster for a beleaguered country that is already subject to sanctions from the United States and the European Union due to its human rights record. Zimbabwe is already in economic ruin. In the lead-up to the August 23rd presidential, parliamentary, and local government elections, Chamisa, who will challenge Nangogwa and the ruling ZANU-PF party's 43-year hold on power, claimed widespread intimidation against his opposition party. Umning Gogwa, according to Chumisa, has used authorities like the police and courts to crack down on critics, all opposition gatherings, and bar candidates from running. He outlined a number of worries in the AP interview that suggest the nation, with a history of tumultuous and deadly elections, may be headed for another one. Many of Zimbabwe's 15 million citizens, who live in rural locations away from the attention of the world, allegedly make political decisions under the threat of violence in these areas. Individuals are being forced to attend rallies of the ruling party and threatened with death unless they support Tuningkogwa and the Zimbabwe African National Union Patriotic Front. Some people had to choose between death or ZANU-PF, according to Chamisa, the head of the Citizens' Coalition for Change Party. He stated during the interview that Jumnim Gogwa is definitely sparking a national crisis at his office on the 11th floor of Harare, the capital of Zimbabwe. He is bringing instability to the nation. In reality, he is causing unrest. He disobeys the law. He is destroying the nation's institutions. On his way to a political gathering on Thursday, a guy wearing the yellow of Chumisa's CCC party was attacked and stoned to death, according to the police. The CCC charged that he was murdered and that other opposition supporters were attacked by ZANU-PF members. Umning Gogwa has publicly urged his supporters to behave peacefully throughout the campaign and has consistently refuted claims of intimidation and violence by the government or his party. The removal of autocrat Robert Mugabe in 2017 seems to have been a false dawn, according to Chamisa's portrayal of the political landscape in the country of Southern Africa, but reports from Amnesty International and Human Rights Watch released in advance of the elections in less than three weeks support his assertion. These will occur in the midst of five years of harsh crackdowns on human rights, according to Amnesty, after Nkogwa ousted Mugabe in a coup and narrowly defeated Chamisa in a contested presidential election in 2018. According to Human Rights Watch's assessment, Zimbabwean authorities weaponized the criminal justice system against the ruling party's opponents and the election's preparations fell short of free and fair criteria set by other countries. Zimbabwe has abundant agricultural potential, enormous natural resources, notably Africa's greatest quantities of highly sought-after lithium, and might be of great help to the continent if it could achieve the political and economic stability that has eluded it for so long. Due to crimes committed under Mugabe's rule, who passed away in 2019, Zimbabwe was ignored by the West for 20 years. Zimbabweans celebrated Mugabe's ouster in the streets, and Union Kogwa declared that the revolution would bring about democracy and freedom. Recently, he insisted that under his leadership, Zimbabwe is already a developed democracy. Rights organizations claim it is a fantasy and that longtime Mugabe supporter and enforcer Uningogwa. 80 has been just as oppressive as the leader he ousted. Critics and opposition leaders have been imprisoned under Uningogwa, including CCC MP Job Sikola, who has been in captivity for more than a year after accusing members of the ruling party of murdering an opposition activist by hacking. Some have seen legal repercussions for what appear to be trivial critiques, such as a claim author Sitsi Dengaremka, who was detained for taking part in a demonstration that demanded better services for citizens. Even though the electoral agency claimed that all 12 CCC candidates in Bulawayo, the country's second largest city, had registered lawfully, a court decision barred them from running in the election. They were granted permission to stand after a successful appeal to the Supreme Court. Umnin Gogwa denied having any say in the initial decision to exclude the opposition candidates. Saying, I am nowhere near the court. Lawyer and pastor Chamisa, 45, claimed that Umnin Gogwa was currently in charge of a second coup in Zimbabwe. Contestation is necessary for the existence of a contest. Without candidates, you can't have an election, Chamisa stated. After candidates are eliminated, an election is also eliminated. 
that is the point we are trying to make. It's a victory of options. European Union and African Union observers will be present for the polls at Unenkogwa's invitation. He claims to have nothing to conceal. Human Rights Watch has questioned whether the observers will be permitted to enter all areas of the nation. And given their modest numbers, it is probably unlikely that they will be able to observe the full election. More than 12,500 polling places are located all around the nation. And 150 EU monitors are present. However, there are concerns that the CCC will be able to send out enough members to watch over those stations, many of which are located deep in rural areas considered to be ZANU PF strongholds. Chemisa told the AP that his party has put systems in place to be able to independently check vote counts. Chemisa claimed it will plunge the country into absolute devastation and turmoil if the calculations reveal fraud this time. As was alleged in 2018 and numerous elections before that. In a nation that had been denied democracy under the control of white minorities prior to 1980 and again under the only two leaders it has seen since Mugabe and Mnangagwa. He pleaded with Umningogwa to renounce his harsh methods. Chemisa said of Umningogwa, he must be stopped because he can not push the whole nation into darkness and an abyss on account of him wanting to retain power. Zimbabweans deserve tranquility and sleep. They have endured much suffering.